Hey, what's up everyone? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video I'm going to show you my small scale import figure collection. I get a lot of people, a lot, a lot of people asking me to show off my collection. Well, my collection room is currently being built. It's under construction, so I have this spare space that I can set up a small amount of figures at a time. And so I figured I'd start with my smallest batch of figures and just show you guys one part of the collection. And if you guys like this video, then I'll take these guys down and I'll put up another batch of figures from another collection. And then we'll just keep reusing this space if you guys want me to. If not, then that's fine too. And we can just wait until I finish the collection room if that ever happens. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. Here are the SH Figure Arts Power Rangers that I have so far. While I do like these figures, and I'm going to keep buying them, they don't have the same appeal as some of the other figures do to me. I don't know, there's something about them that just kind of... I don't know, they're just not quite as much fun, I don't think. And, uh, I don't know, a lot of people really like them. I do like them, but they just... I don't know. There's just something about them. The D-Arts Mega Man figures, on the other hand, I really like. I like them a lot. Uh, not so... Not quite as fond of the ultimate armor over here, but I do like the uh, full armor and the regular X, and then uh, Zero Type 2 is one of my favorites. Pretty excited to get the black one in. Uh, it should be next month, I guess. I don't know. I don't really care for the regular, the original Mega Man or base too much, but they're still decent figures. Over here we have my little makeshift uh, Smash Brothers batch of character. That's, that's why Mega Man's on this side. We have the D-Arts Mewtwo, and Link from Figma, Samus from Figma. Some random Pikachu I found, but he's pretty close to the right scale, so... I figured, what the heck, I cannot get out of the way of the light. Then we have the, uh, Revil Tech Snake and Raiden. Snake isn't the right snake for Smash Brothers, but he's all we have, so he's there. And of course, Raiden's next to him. My $5 purchase Figma Kamen Rider Wrath. I don't really like that character or that figure, but what the hell, he's only five bucks. The SH Figure Arts Iron Man and War Machine, which are two contenders for the top ten list this year. They're probably going to take the same spot, since they're basically the same figure, but still, they're pretty cool, so I had to give Iron Man a flying pose. Using a whippy stand, if you guys don't have whippy stands, check out my review, get some of those, they're really helpful. Then we have the Strike Gundam which is one of my favorite Gundam designs, so I'm really happy to have him, his review. I don't know if it'll be up or not by the time you guys see this, but if it is, go check it out. If it isn't, stay tuned for it. The uh, Extreme Gundam, I just got his review up today, so ch check that out if you haven't seen it. And then my favorite design so far of all the Gundams I have is the F91, the Formula 91. It's a really cool figure. You're gonna have to wait for that review because I haven't even shot it yet, but it's a good figure. Not as advanced in the engineering department, but still really cool. Then we have the two uh, arm slaves from Full Metal Panic, the Arbalest and the Levitine, or whatever it is. I don't really care for the Levitine. I mean, it's a good figure, but there's something about it that just makes me not like it nearly as much as Arbalest. It's a really cool character. And then lastly, we have the Dragon Ball Z collection, which is my favorite bunch of the import figures. I absolutely love these figures, and that's why I have all of them. So we have the original Vegeta and Trunks and Goku. This whole side is the original batch, and then we have the uh, SDCC ones over here with Gohan and Goku and Pickles. Uh, I have Cell on a whippy stand again. Those stands are really handy. The clips aren't the best, but the stand themselves is uh, really handy. And down here next to Krillin, I have the keychain Dragon Balls that I found on eBay. You just take those off the keychain, and they are the perfect scale for these figures, so you should probably pick those up if you can. Uh, also, I'd like to say that in my review for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I said how much I didn't really care for the figure. And while I still don't love it, it's definitely much better once it's actually on display with the other characters. So, it's, it's probably a good pickup. If you haven't gotten it yet, you should probably try to hunt one down. Alright, well, that's pretty much it for the, uh, the small-scale import collection. I can do play arts, and I think I'll do play arts next, even though um, I'm probably going to do it before I wait to hear back from you guys on this video, just because it's the only other collection that I don't have a ton of figures for, so I think I could probably squeeze them on the shelf. 
but I'm not sure, so we'll see. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want me to do more videos like this, or if you don't, I'm fine with it either way. All right, stay tuned for more figure reviews, custom figures, and other good stuff. In the meantime, keep collecting.